What is good with y'all? We're back with the Madden 06 Browns franchise. We're going to be taking on our division rival Pittsburgh Steelers. And yeah, I'm going to let this run for a little bit, show the uh, mid-season updated stats. And yeah, I want to apologize for the uh, amount of time it has been between my last video and now. Uh, school got really busy. Most of y'all that know December is always a very busy and stressful time with school. On top of that, new job start. Start a new job. That was weird. New job start. Sorry about that. But yeah. And then on top of that, had an interesting little uh, vacation I sort of took. Flag football tournament. And yes, I might make a video just playing a game, telling a story time of how I had a ridiculously fast come up in terms of competitive flag football. It's interesting. You should try it one day. Just don't get, just don't get yourself hurt. That's all I'm going to say. It's pretty fun. But yeah, aside from all of that business, you don't need to know the rest of my business. That's all you need to know. Let's get to it. We're going to be taking on those Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's look at them. They got Joey Harrington still at quarterback, which I think is really dumb. Corey Dillon's starting to decline a little bit, but he's still holding it down. Chris Chambers, unfortunately, he is out for the season. Avery is banged up too, so it'll be Stokely and Kevin Curtis. But don't sleep on Brandon Stokely. He was a baller back in the day. But yeah, yeah, these these Steelers, man, they got some ballers. I mean, a lot of these teams do. They got my man Marcus Washington, too. They got Takeo Spikes on the other side. Kelly Herndon. And then these Starks guys are their corners. They got Woods and a rookie. In fact, they got Thomas Davis. This was back when he first came in the league as a safety before they moved him to linebacker. So, yeah, first down, J uh, Joey Harrington. I almost called him James. Joey Harrington tries to take off with a QB bootleg. It doesn't work. Second down, Corey Dillon's going to get about four on that run. Third down, Joey Harrington steps up in the pocket, and that pass is going to fall out of bounds, so it doesn't really matter. We broke it up anyway. First down, Clinton Porsche is going to start us off with the draw. Second down now, Mike Vick looking to throw. Rolling to his right, stops. Pops looking. Ben Watson makes the catch. He turns up field. Man, he shouldn't have spun. He should have just chucked that guy. But you know what? It is what it is. It's a great gain. I'm not going to complain. First down. Clinton Porter's going to get a couple yards. Second down now. Mike Vick steps up the throw. Looking for Ben Watson. That's a nice play by the DB to get his hand in there, man. That was a pretty good throw, I thought. But that's just a great play by the DB. Michael Vick flushed to his right under pressure. And that's incomplete. That was supposed to be thrown much further for Randy Moss, but it wasn't. But Matt Bryant's going to hold it down for us. He's got the field goal. It is good. First down, Corey Dillon. A couple yards on that run. Second down and eight. Corey Dillon runs to the left. And now it's going to be third and seven. Harrington drops back. Skin in the field. Looking for his man. He finds Kevin Curtis on the comeback. That's going to be a first down for Pittsburgh. And now they're going to give a counter to Corey Dillon. We whiff on the hit stick with Marlon Greenwood. But it is okay because Derek Burgess holds us down. He gets the tackle. Second down, Corey Dillon. He's going to get the runoff tackle. Third down and four. They give it to him again. He tries to bounce it outside. He thinks he's an athlete, and those days are over, Corey. You're getting a little old in this game. First down now, Clinton Portis. He's going to take a hit stick from that free safety, but he still gets a solid game. Second down, Michael Vick steps up in the pocket. Look at the throw, but he's going to be sacked on the play. And that'll bring up third down and four. Vick drops back. Rolling to his left. Looking for Ronnie Brown, who makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down for the Cleveland Browns. Michael Vick looking to throw again. Locked on the gates. He's rolling to his right. He's going to end up taking off with it and getting what he can get. Dangerous diving forward, but he gets eight yards. Second down and two. Michael Vick steps up in the pocket. He takes off. He's got a first down. You know, if they're going to rush everybody super far upfield on the edge, we'll just do that all day. First down, Antonio Gates. We found him on that play. We never throw to him when we run that play. It's usually a bomb to Randy Moss or we dump it to Greg Jones. But you know what? You got to always stay ready. Always got to be unpredictable. Because everybody knows predictable offenses never win. Our predictable teams in general. Right there, Dante Stallworth catches the curl. And he turns upfield. He's inside the 10-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. I like this rhythm we got going. First down, Michael Vick trying to set up the screen for Ronnie Brown. For some reason, that throw did not get to him. A little weird. Maybe the ball slipped out of Vick's hands. Right here, that's a nice throw to Randy Moss. On the sit down, he got that guy on the hitch. But right here, I got a little too excited. That's what happens. It, it goes a little slower if I don't get enough power. I just got to hit it with the same con consistency when I press X on the controller, and I'll be good to go. So that's my bad. You know, 
I mess up. I'm not. I'm human. We're all human. We all mess up. We know this. No one's perfect. First down for the Steelers. That was a five-yard gain. Second down, Joey Harrington. Look, if we pick up the running back on the wheel with Ed Reed, and I'm surprised Joey Harrington didn't give him a shot deep because it looked like he got behind us, but it's Joey Harrington, folks. First down, throws that up there. We knocked that away. Second down and 10. Toss play to Corey Dillon. Trying to get the edge. He's turning up field. Ed Reed's going to make the tackle. He turned him around for a minute. But Ed Reed came up and attacked him and made the tackle. Third down looking. That's going to be knocked away by Reggie Torbor. He's holding it down right there in the flats. And right here, we find Antonio Gates on the play action play. Rolling out to the left. First down, Michael Vick. Steps up in the pocket, and he's taking off, man. These guys can't run with him, and that's going to be a first down for the Browns again. And I forgot to mention on the uh, previous possession, the Steelers did manage to get a field goal. So they are up, or they have three points, but we are up 9-3. to three. Clinton Porters, that was a very nice run right there. He's picking up the first down. Right here, Michael Vick is going to be sacked, taken to the grass before he can even get that pass off. Second down now, Vick looking. Steps up. He's going to take off. He's got the first down running the ball. Nice spin move. First down, Browns. And, yeah, we're going to run no huddle. We're going to run the same play. This play is nice. I mean, it doesn't work as well in Madden 06 as it does in Madden 07, but you know what? I'm still going to run it. Right there, that was a high pass. That could have been picked off. Bad ball. Suck it down. Clinton Portis, that's a bad call, too, because we didn't execute it. Third down, Jabbar Gaffney on the cross. We find them on the what they call the over route, quote-unquote. Right here, we couldn't get them off sides. They were late getting over. We find Portis coming out of the backfield, but the booth gets a little sketchy. They want to review it. They want to check everything in these last two minutes. So that's what we're going to do. And Portis, it looks like he only got one foot in, unfortunately. So that's going to be coming back, but it's only three yards we lose. Right here, Portis, he's going to take a big hit from the linebacker. Third and goal, Portis into the end zone, touchdown, Browns. So we try to go for two, and we put in another running back because Portis is kind of tired, and Ronnie Brown's going to be a little short, so it is what it is. First down now, Joey Harrington. Looking, taking a shot down the field. Kevin Curtis goes up. I don't know what Ed Reed was doing, but that's not what an all-pro Hall of Fame and NFL 100 anniversary team player plays like I don't know what that is Ed Reed we need to fix that you're making Kevin Curtis look like an all pro out there I don't like it Kevin Curtis was not as good as Madden makes him out to be right here we find Jabbar Gaffney he gets out of bounds we got plenty of timeouts but you know what I like the awareness for my players right here we try to take a shot deep to Randy Moss this guy I'm not gonna lie Starks one of the Starks he did a good job right here Michael Vick rolling to his left taking a shot to Jabbar Gaffney probably should have just taken off with it but you know what Neither here nor there. It's good to give your receivers a chance. Third down, we try to sneak around with Portis to get some yards. We can't get in the field goal range, so we got to throw a Hail Mary. Fix steps up in the pocket. Remember, we can't run with him on Hail Marys anymore. And Thomas Davis is going to pick it off. Great play, Thomas Davis, and that's going to be the end of the first half. But we get the ball to start the second half. Michael Vick drops back, taking a shot deep. And Dante Stallworth gets behind the defense, and he's going to take that to the crib, man. Dante Stallworth. Touchdown, Browns. He's really having a breakout season for us now that I know how to use him. I kind of figured out how to use him towards the end of last season. And, yeah, he's tearing it up. This is what I wanted originally. I wanted to see this. Randy Moss and Dante Stallworth, you know, opening up our offense. Really, teams are so worried about Randy Moss. That's what's been opening up Ma, uh, not Moss, Stallworth and Gaffney and even Ben Watson and Antonio Gates in this offense. Is everybody worried about Randy Moss? As you see right here, we make a nice stop with Ian Gold on third down, so we get the ball back. It's not looking good for Pittsburgh right now. I'm starting to get hot. Second down now, Mike Vick finds Portis out of the backfield. Portis got the first down with that catch. Right here, stretch play to Portis. Jukes back inside. He's going to be tackled by two men, but it's still a decent game. Second down and five now, Mike Vick drops back. Taking a shot deep to Randy Moss. And that's going to be knocked away by that guy, Starks, again. He, he did a good job, I'm not going to lie. He did not get beat significantly bad on the deep route. Everything else, not so much. But, yeah, he did pretty good on the deep routes, I'm not going to lie. First down, play action. Mike Vick steps up in the pocket, finds Dante Stallworth, who brings that pass in. Now we're going to give a handoff to Ronnie Brown. Not going to quite work out. 
Starks comes up and makes a tackle, man. This guy is a cornerback that can cover the deep route and make tackles. Right here, we try to roll to the left and throw at the Portis, but we get sacked before we can even throw that away. We lose a significant amount of yards. Right here, Vic taking a shot to Stallworth. Oh, man, but he misplays the ball. He jumps early. That's my bad on the user. Stallworth, I owe you a touchdown for that, man, because that probably would have been a touchdown. But right here, Sean Taylor picks off Joey Harrington, and we get excellent field position to start. No way we can't capitalize. Right here, they are all in our play action, so Michael Vick has to improvise and take off, and he's out around the six-yard line. Make that first and goal. Vick drops back. We try to get to Stallworth quick. They don't break in time on the hitch. That's a touchdown for Stallworth. We go for two. Ronnie Brown's got it this time. There we go. 31 to 10. Pittsburgh, where are you at? Come on now. I know y'all better than this. It's like, nah, Pittsburgh sucks in this. They haven't had a winning season yet in this franchise series for Madden 06. Third down. That's incomplete. Come on, Joey Harrington. Get a better quarterback, Pittsburgh. That's a start. And get a younger running back behind Corey Dillon. That'll be your start to try to be good. Right there, Randy Moss is going to make the catch. Third down now, Portis. He's going to pick up the first down on that run. First down and 10. Vic drops back. Locked on to Stallworth. He's going to take a shot to Stallworth. It's underthrown and it's incomplete. Second down now. Play action once again. Michael Vick looking into the flats. That was supposed to be for Greg Jones, but didn't get to him. Third down. Michael Vick, he's under pressure, and he's going to be taken to the ground again. So the Steelers get the ball back. They're trying to make something happen. Corey Dillon lowering his shoulder, getting about a seven-yard gain on that run. Second down and three. Joey Harrington looking across the middle. He's going to find Brandon Stokely. Breaks a tackle, but then he gets hit by Sean Taylor. Rest in peace, Sean Taylor. First down, Corey Dillon going nowhere. We got Browns flying around. Second down, Kevin Curtis. He makes the catch, but he 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 finds out who Marlon Greenwood is. Marlon Greenwood making his presence known with that hit. Right there, Corey Dillon stiff-arming folks before he's brought down. But he doesn't get the first down on that run. Second down, we make the sack coming from the blind side on Joey Harrington. Third down now, Harrington looking in a togway gets a sack. So yeah, that's a wrap. Pittsburgh give us that ball back. You know you don't want that smoke. Second down now after that run by Porters. We find Randy Moss. He's going to turn upfield. He's got the first down. That's okay. Keep it in bounds. Right here, Porters on the stretch play. Porters runs to the right. Makes a nice move on Thomas Davis. And he's inside the 25-yard line with that run. And now we're getting ready to punch it in. Same drive. We just eat up the clock. And, yeah, Ronnie Brown's in the end zone. And we get the two-point conversion with, I think, Greg Jones. Joey Harrington looking to throw. Steelers have one more chance. That's caught by Kevin Curtis. That's our DBs misplaying the ball once again. First down now, Joey Harrington. Taking a shot down the right side of the field. That's incomplete. Second down and 10. Harrington drops back. Looking for his man. That's going to be incomplete. Third down now, Joey Harrington. No surprise, they're throwing again. Dumps it to Kevin Curtis, but we're right there with Asante Samuel. And that's going to be it as we get the win, 39-10. to 10. So yeah, Cleveland, you know, we looked pretty solid that game. I'm not going to complain. We only had one turnover. Portis got done on the ground. Michael Vick got done on the ground. Stallworth had the big game. Randy Moss, you know, a little bit here and there, but that's okay. You know, Randy Moss, he's going to get a touchdown, but you know what? If they want a game plan for him, it open up. It. Oh, no, it cut out. But like I was saying, if they want a game plan for Randy Moss, it opens up everyone else. If you have the brain to do it and you can see that, you know, you can exploit any team's weaknesses. And that's what I try to do. Sometimes I do good. Actually, most of the time I do good, not trying to be prideful. But then sometimes I suck. And I admit when I suck. But you know what? We got Pittsburgh today. So yeah, until next time, I'm out.